Welcome back at WNST, Towson, Baltimore, and Abingdon. We're up here in Hartford County. We're letting ourselves play. It's all presented by the Maryland Lottery. It is the Maryland Crab Cake Tour, and this is my favorite part of the Maryland Crab Cake Tour. This is the part where I have a crab cake. In this segment, we're going to have a crab cake. Andrew Conrad is here. I have gone pie, Conrad's, so many times with tacos and stuff on Joppa Road and sales, and I got crabs from you several times there, but I've never had your crab cake, so I'm really? delighted to be in Abingdon. That's great. How are Thank you? Thank you. I'm good. I'm Thanks good. for being a great host and putting this together. They of told course. me that I would uh, struggle to find anybody to host me on Black Friday, and I said... I bet they have crab cakes up there. And this is like the most wonderful time of the year for seafood. Yeah. Like oysters great. are out. You've been shucking, shucking, shucking. Yep. I got shrimp here. I got clams here. Tell us the story because I know that you have a story about water and fish and crabbing that I went on this summer. I did 30 crab cakes in 30 days. I went all over the state. I went to the crab pickeries, the places that why crab was $55 a pound and $60 mm -hmm. a pound, and learning about H2B visas and all of that with Ben Cardin, everything that goes into it. But this is a passion play for you and your husband, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We've been doing it for 15 years. We opened Joppa Road. I remember when so, Joppa Road opened. Yeah. And, I mean, my radio station is right around the corner from there, right? Yeah. Providence Road, Lock Raven, right by Lock Raven High yep. School. So yep. give me the inspiration 15 years ago to do this. <laughs> well, we both were working in a restaurant business. He always wanted to um, kind of leave his corporate job. He was in sales. He moonlighted crabbing on the side. So he went to do that. Moonlighting crabbing. What does that mean? You get like, out of bed at the butt crack of dawn. Yeah. You get a bunch of crabs. You sell them and then go to your job? Yes. He would get up with like five crab, like 50 pots at the time. He was he doing it for license. money or was he doing it for fun? No, for fun. For, for fun. fun. Literally. Just, yes. His call is the water. <laughs> <laughs> she, my, my wife would say his call is the radio, you know, for <laughs> yeah, me, I mean, the media, you yeah, know. Exactly. Um, and, and turning that into something that's a vision like this, was the vision to have restaurants and bars and oysters, or was it a vision to be a carryout? Which is, it felt like that's what you were on Joppa Road, no, right? I mean, originally it was a restaurant, and then the opportunity presented itself for the carryout. So we said, well, let's start there, and then you know, evolved. So we did. And seven years later, we opened the restaurant in Perry Hall with our partner and chef, Joe, who is a partner here and in Perry Hall. Did he put the Christini thing on the menu? Yes, the sweet he potato? did. I, I want to meet Joe because I, honey, can I get the menu? I, 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 for, for me, this menu, I came in and I was sort of, I was shocked, honestly. Like I didn't look you up online or whatever. I know of your reputation. I've eaten your crabs many times. I, I don't know why I didn't think there would be a blue crab hash on your menu <laughs> or a sweet potato crostini, but my wife saw the sweet potato crostini, and I'm like, I, I love that kind of stuff. Yeah, I, I like stuff I can only get. So I'm two for two here. I, I, I mean, I got that, never had anything like it anywhere. That's had prosciutto good. on it and yeah. goat cheese, delicious. And then this crab hash, where in the world did that come from? I he. His brain, I guess. I don't. I, I know, and I wish he was here. But I do have another chef coming out. It's but. like a crab, um, uh, like a, a pot pie, with an egg, but without the the crust. It was like a pot pie without the pot the, the pie, right? Not the pot, right. the, the pie. But it was delicious, and it was Good. like breakfasty, but hearty enough to eat for lunch, like brunchy yeah. almost. Yeah, it's popular. Well, the crab cake itself is, uh, you know, that's the Maryland thing. Now, you guys pull the crabs out of the water, steaming them. Give me a crab cake recipe. Is this a family thing? Is this, is this your husband's recipe? Where, where's where's yeah, the crab cake? Yeah, it's kind of been from? his family recipe for a long time. We started it in Parkville, and we've used that one every location. Like, certain things are definitely the same recipe everywhere. Um, other things... You know, we flex a little bit on, but... Your crab soup is spicy. Yes. I and it's a really spicy soup. hair. It's a very <laughs> spicy Maryland very crab. Very spicy. Very spicy. I liked it, but yeah. it was spi it's spicy. spicy. It's the spiciest Maryland crab soup I've ever been served in a restaurant. Yeah. I can't... It's it's very spicy. But not... so Like, in, in the carryouts, it might be a little less spicy. You know, like, he tweaks it a little bit to fit, to fit. But 
the one thing about our crab cakes, see this little True Blue certified logo? Well, I, I know about True you Blue. You do know? Well, so then I, you I, know. I, I, let, let me, yeah, and, and I, I, I want to talk to you about this because I've had Marty Gary on the show, Steve Vilnit. Yeah, um, you know, Steve Vilnit. You know He's Steve Vilnit, Him right? and my husband are so, friends, Of course. Yeah. And, and I, so I, I'll say this. When I, when I walked up to the door today, the first thing I did, and this, and this is proof, I put the picture up of me at your front door, <laughs> and if you can see what's in the middle of it, uh, yeah. I put it up. Because I saw your true blue. Yep. And true blue means that you make every attempt possible to source Maryland crab whenever possible. Yes. Now that's, that's very difficult to do in February, March, April, May, pasteurization and all of that. Right. But I've talked to so many people about the importance of crab. And I, chef's out. Look out. Oh, I got crab <laughs> cakes coming. Um, but but sourcing this meat. Is this Maryland meat today? I mean, yes. So it's Maryland we're, meat. We're right at the end, right? We're... Yes. A week or two from being December much 15th, over with. yeah, the Maryland Thank season. you very much for bringing it out. You want to come on? We got we, we got we got chefs coming on. Yeah. What's, what's happening here? On Hold on, second. man. Let, let me let me put the headset up here. Welcome. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good. How what's are you doing? What's your name? Today? I'm Chris. Chris, what's happening, man? Thanks for making doing? me a crab cake for lunch, man. No problem. Yeah. So this first things first. I had 42 crab cakes in 30 days Jeez. in the month of August. I went I, I did all 24 counties in the city in the 30 days. I did have a grace up here in Hartford County that because I knew I was coming back with you guys. Mm -hmm. I knew I was going to hit the more primary Bel Air places toward Baltimore. And everywhere I went during the month, they served the crab cake with a tartar sauce. Straight, I'm talking like mayonnaise with this tartar sauce. And I thought tartar sauce is for like fish sticks. I, I wouldn't eat tartar sauce. You do remoulade. This is a remoulade. That, that what is, is this? Well, that is a version of our tartar sauce. No, it's remoulade, though. Well, it's an aioli. It's so an aioli. It's, yes, it's a fancy not, tartar sauce. Yeah, this is not like the way. No, this is like the, legitimate yeah. here. What's yeah. in this? Lemon? We have uh, lemon juice, uh -huh. Worcestershire, some mayonnaise. Uh, our own shrimp spice is also in there. That shrimp spice. Yes. Mm, okay. That's now, what gets it. There yep. you go. The All Conrad right. seasoning. I need to get yeah, I we need a, a fork. fork. Heather, I got a fork. I got a fork right here. Oh, you got a fork? Okay, thank you. They brought me everything. I, know. Okay, I just, just moved it off sure. the set. <laughs> I'm afraid of spilling my beer. We're Conrad's Crabs. We're hanging out. We're, uh, we're eating crab cakes, talking about crab cakes and Maryland crab. You said your husband l loved crabbing. Fishing, too? Yes, he fishes in the winter. He's got a fishing okay. license, too. How long has the crabbing thing been going on for? I mean, before you knew him. Oh, yeah. 18, 18 years. We've been married 21 years, so. Did you meet him yeah. on a crab boat? No, we met him at. A restaurant. But then he <laughs> took you crabbing right away. He did. And I didn't even eat crabs when I met him. I got to meet him. I want to talk about like getting these things out of the water and the recipe and, and aiolis and all of it. Now, this is such a traditional Baltimore thing. Coleslaw, mm -hmm. French fries. Most places serve it this way. But I'm telling you, I was blown away because I have never eaten uh, tartar sauce with a crab cake in my life. A lot of cocktail. Yes, I grew up cocktail. poor in Dundalk. Mm -hmm. So in Dundalk, in the 70s, my mom would get like claw meat or mm -hmm. special meat. And, you know, put all mayonnaise, mustard, uh, Worcestershire, celery seed, a version of seafood spice. But she would fry them flat like a hockey puck mm -hmm. and then serve them maybe with, I don't like mustard, but like French is not for me or like Golden's or spicy, but with crackers and mustard. And that's the way East Baltimore would serve them. But this is like delicate Maryland Jumbo lump crab meat. This is a different is. thing. Yeah. And how yeah. we, so, so your crab cake recipe. Worcestershire? I don't man, think I'm going to agree. Yo, he's I'm not telling me. That. You just told me, you just told me the, the aioli. I, I, I told you a couple oh, things in it, but I don't even after. know what going after going right after now. Well, you made me crab hash earlier, and I appreciate that. That was that delicious. Was no too. problem. That was delicious. So this is the Conrad's crab cake. I've had many, many crabs from you, but... Uh, is this going to taste like, like the no, It tastes like yummy Maryland crab meat. Because that's what it is. Exactly. True yes. blue. True blue. I'm going to try some of this, too. This, so what's People this? rave about that. It's like a yeah, well, tartar aioli, right? Yes. Sort of. I'm finding that at more places, they're around here, they don't serve tartar sauce as much. Around here, it's more cocktail. I had a delicious remoulade at Chop Tank. It was fantastic. I've only had one good... Um, tartar sauce in the whole trip down on Naples and it was homemade with lemon and mm -hmm. had, it, it was it, it didn't come out of a jar you know right, you can see you yeah. know so when people are trying really hard with remoulades and stuff I love remoulade I get it shrimp 
It's more of a New Orleans style thing. Something you'd serve with like a, I think we'd serve with shrimp, right? Creole, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to try this. Is it spicy? No, it's not spicy at all. The aioli is not spicy. But it's very good. Your crab cake is not spicy. Your crab cake is very sweet. Yeah. Now, East Baltimore, a lot of people put a lot of Old Bay in it. I've talked a lot. You know, every crab cake I have every Friday is completely different from the one the week before. Kind of amazing, really, huh? Well, they are. <laughs> my whole life, I've eaten crab cakes, and that's the reason I did the tour. People are like, you're going to eat 40 crab cakes in 30 days, you're going to get sick of them. I'm like, I never had the same crab cake twice. Yeah. And it wasn't yeah. even close, to be honest with you. I've had similar sort of styles of recipes, but this is a little bit of a wet cake you can see inside. Look in there. Delicious. And this has, um, you got some parsley in there. I see that for a little yeah. color. Mm -hmm. i got to be careful. I make a mess of my microphone. That's delicious. I taste, I taste the lemon in it. Some lemon I in there. I taste the lemon in that. It's delicious. Well done. Well played. Thanks, Jeff. No problem. Too. I appreciate you coming out. appreciate you bringing it. No problem. When am I going to meet the fisherman, the, the, the <laughs> crab? Where is he? Is he out on the water? you got to um, go back and cook yeah, food. Go. Thanks, I Thanks, man. Thanks, I appreciate Chris. you. Thanks, Chris. Thanks. Appreciate it, man. Chris joining us. Um, so he, it, it, when do we move from crabbing to fishing? This week, right? Crabbing's over. He is done crabbing. And then he will fish come January. What kind of fish? Uh, yellow perch, white perch, crappy. I, I began the tour the first weekend of August down in Ocean City at the Marlin. Mm. And that was a whole... Has he done that? Not yet. He wants to. I have a couple of sponsors of mine, uh, of dear friends that go out. And it sounds like the most grueling thing ever. 100 miles at 5 o'clock in the morning going out, mm -hmm. sun beating on you, staring at the crystals on the water. And they love it. <laughs> I love sitting, drinking beer on the, and when they bring it in to weigh it. That's all I was doing. That was my role. My role was to sit on the beach all day, do a little radio. I'm going to do it again this year. I got to come back to see you guys again at some of the other locations. How many yeah. do you have now? So we have the original Joppa Road, and then we opened Perry Hall Restaurant in 2014, and then we opened here in 2019, and then we have a Bel Air Carryout that we opened in 2019 as well. So two carryouts and two restaurants. Harford County. I had Harford County executive. We, we uh, did... Uh, we migrated to Hartford County. We live in Falston, and Do you our live chef in lives in Baltimore. Yeah, I mean in Bel Air. So, yeah. yeah. Halfway. Well, you're yeah. like a real border business, Baltimore County, Hartford County. I, mm -hmm. uh, all of our listeners are familiar with Conrad's. Come on out. Uh, we're here in Abingdon. We're in the parking lot where the Wegmans is. Uh, this used to be like a, a corporate crab house, wasn't it? Was it was Joe's Crab Joe's, Shack. Joe's, which yeah. is a national. Yeah. 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 It they don't make it, it in Maryland. Uh, they didn't even have steamed crabs. It's weird, there right? There are places popping up now that are doing these boils. You know about this? They, do, they Like Carolina, they do low country. They boil their crabs. Yeah. It's weird. Really weird. <laughs> I mean, especially not when you're Maryland. from Baltimore. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not a Maryland thing. It's just, well, it's Andrew, amazing. really nice to meet you. And thanks for Thank hosting us and giving us a table over here and being kind of to even Bill uh, and giving Bill cold beer uh, <laughs> over here. Bill's been heckling me the whole time. Great to have you. And we ship our crabs, too, and crab cakes. Ship crabs in season or at, uh, like now? All year round. Ship them all across so the country. So you will have crabs in January, February, yes. March, for sure. Yes. We have um, mostly Louisiana, some Texas connections, but all year Sound round. Sound from Dundalk. Yeah. We would always say, call ahead. Got to call ahead. Yeah. You have to call ahead go or online not? and ship. Um, no, you can go right on our website, shipmarylandcrabs.com. Shipmarylandcrabs.com. Yep. Yes. All right. Well, thank so, you very yeah. much. I appreciate thank the you. crab cake. Pleasure to meet the you. The French fries. Let's see. The crab hash. The uh, crostini. Mm -hmm. What else we get? Oh, and that spicy crab soup. She had the <laughs> I almost ordered the cream of crab because I always. Do the blend. The half and half. half and oh, that's my favorite. That's how I like it. I'm going, I'm going with that. I'm going with I have so much turkey in my fridge right now. And we really screwed up. We, um, it's the first Thanksgiving. We went to the store on Wednesday. And we had a list, and we were a little bit of a hurry because we're moving. We're selling our oh, place, okay. and we're like, life's, that's why I'm asking yeah. about Harford County. We, yeah. We're thinking about where we're going to live. We're looking at places. And we went into the store, and I went through the bakery, and I rolled out, and she was in a hurry, and I was in a hurry. And we're like, boom, we got home, and I'm like, no pie. <laughs> I had no <gasps> pumpkin pie in the house last night. I had, I had Wise Markets, one of my great spots. They make delicious pumpkin ice cream. So I did that in lieu. And then because we're moving, you ever moved? Yes. Socks. Yes. I mean, I, we just got worst. so much stuff. And I keep saying to her, eat it. That cookie dough in the freezer, make the cookies. We're not <laughs> taking the cookie dough. 
that gel frazy sauce you bought three years ago because you wanted to make Indian food. Make Indian food. So last night, we're out of dessert. We have no pie. And there it is on the top box. Godiva chocolate little, little <laughs> molten lava cakes. I'm like, here you go. We got vanilla ice cream. Let's do it. I so, have a pumpkin creme brulee. Yes. I could bring that out for you. Yes. Yes, please, and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we started a new tradition last night, molten chocolate lava cakes. And as we're sitting there with strawberries, vanilla ice cream, molten magma flowing out of it, <laughs> watching the Bills win again, I'm thinking this is a, good, this is a new tradition, Thanksgiving. Molten lava cake. That's how traditions start, you know. That's right. Mistakes. It's a good idea. All right. Well, thank you. I, I want to meet you, Bob. Yeah. Soon. We will. Next time we do the crab cake tour, we'll, we'll, we'll come to the other location. Yeah, he wants to go fish. He took me a fly fishing. D does, d does your hubby fly fish? No. No fly fishing. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Will you give me the stink eye? Would, would, he, would he not I don't do know. It? I don't, oh, no. I think he would do any fishing. He just All right, um, we're gonna. To my knowledge, we'll do that next time. We're gonna bring him on yeah, to fly fishing. Okay. Because I had I had never fly fished, and Jen and I went chasing pearl jam around uh, Montana about four years ago, and when you drive in Montana, you just drive because it's a long way. Everywhere I looked, there were dudes and waders in the water. Yeah. And it was beautiful, and the water's moving, and the cars parked up top, and it looked like they had a cooler with beer, like, it's like bowling. You can drink when you do it. You know what I mean? That's what makes it more fun, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. right, fishing, fishing and beer. Do you watch Yellowstone? No. Oh, you got to watch it. It's all about Montana and okay. the ranch. So and I yeah. fell in love with, like, watching these people fish, and I thought that would be fun. So when I dreamed up the crab cake tour, I, the idea of the tour in August was to do something every day I had never done. Hmm. So we wanted a zip line. We didn't do that. But, like, I, I went places I had never been all over the Eastern Shore. All, I had never been to Deep Creek. I had never been. Oh, wow, yeah. So fly fishing was, like, a bucket list thing that you can easily do in the state of Maryland. Mm -hmm. And very well, as you might add. So I told Eric, uh, I said, I'm going to go fly. Oh, I love fly fishing. We should go out by Savage River and the Savage River. So the next thing you know, I'm Googling all of that. And we had the best day ever. So fly fishing, it's 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock. 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock with the rod. That's how you, you get the ah. thing whipping. And then you throw it out there. And then you sit there. And the damn fish never bite. And then, you know, you drink. And then you go home. <laughs> yeah, you drive through West, you know, Westminster and Hagerstown. You go home. But next year we'll do that. So fly fishing. All right. And I want to learn okay. about the crab pot. Does, does your hubby do the big crab pots? or the Yeah, the big ones. Is that big one this is there? him right here, right? Yeah, that's him. Oh, yeah, there's right, a so pop they, behind him. The yeah. All right, there you yeah. go. And this is your yeah. boat. How big's your yes. boat? Yes. Uh, 28 feet. And where's it I docked? Think. Uh, down in Bully's Quarters near uh, Goose Harbor. All right. So. I call it, it Middle River, but I'm from the east side. So yeah, middle, middle River. Place What's the floods the all the time. Yeah. Bully's Quarters. He keeps it down there with his pots and all. So. all right, well, you're running a restaurant. It's Black Friday. Thanks for having us out. Thank you. It's been a lot of fun. Comrades Crabs, come on up here. Enjoy any of their locations. Take it home. Sit down. Eat. Get some oysters. I would over there. <laughs> and uh, get the pumpkin creme brulee. Bill Cole's yelling at me off camera. Oh, I can yes. send clients crab cakes. Well, yeah, of course you can send clients crab cakes. Yes. One click away. Maryland, what was it? What was it? Give me oh, ship thing. Maryland ship crabs. Ship Maryland crabs. Ship com. Maryland crabs. Ship. Don't Maryland hold your tongue crabs. when you say ship. That's right. That's bad. Ship Maryland crabs .com. All right. Maryland Crab Cake Tour is uh, bidding adieu to Hartford County. We'll be back again soon, I promise. We'll be in Baltimore County next Friday at Pappas in Cockeysville. We're going to be uh, joined by Mike Bordick, former Orioles shortstop, and my friend. It'll be great to talk some baseball with Bordy. Uh, also going to be joined by Jim Rees at Offa Kerman and our sponsor, Leonard Raskin from Raskin Global, who gave me some great advice this week about buying versus renting and owning a home. I own the Maryland Crab Cake Tour. I'm about to enjoy the rest of this Maryland Crab Cake, so we need to shut it down and go get some pumpkin creme brulee. <laughs> That's right. We are WNST, AM 1570, Towson, Baltimore, and we never stop talking. Baltimore <laughs> Positive and Comrades Crabs.